Welcome to another Limited Insight. Today we are looking at the Philips Perfect Draft Machine. Philips say this provides a way to enjoy chilled bar quality draft beer in your home. But is it any good? We'll show you how it works, we'll change a keg in this thing and discuss the cost per pint. Then I'm going to tell you if I think it's worth getting one. Let's go! So the unit itself is a fair size. You are going to notice it sat on top of your kitchen worktop. So it is probably better if you've got a designated space for it, a little bar area perhaps, where it's not going to be quite so intrusive. But there's quite a lot packed into this little package, so um, they have used the space fairly well, uh, but it is still a fairly big unit. At the end of the day, it does house a 10 pint keg of beer. You will need to leave a little room either side to enable the doors of this thing to slide open. I'll show you a little later. The perfect draft machine will dispense you a nice cool beer at 3 degrees Celsius. The keg inside here will last around about 30 days and will provide you with 10 pints of delicious beer. There are around about 35 to 40 beers available for use inside this machine. So you are fairly small for choice. So some mainstream beers, some you know well-known brands, as well as some that you're perhaps not that familiar with, but still very tasty. So this thing is a good excuse really to try a few beers that you might not have otherwise. This machine costs from 240 pounds uh, for a starter pack. Uh, I believe they include a keg to start you off with. Good luck. In getting hold of one these things have been incredibly popular during the peak of the lockdown obviously pubs being closed people wanting that you know bar quality beer at home obviously this looks like the the perfect solution and it was for many many people uh, these things sold out and were going for up to 600 pounds on eBay at one point the main UK distributor for these things beer hawk they had sold out uh, and upon making this video they are still not back in stock. I have seen retailers or individuals on eBay selling European models uh, for a slightly inflated price. Um, absolutely no problem in buying those European models, you just need to either adapt the plug or buy a European adapter. Uh, this happens to be one of those European models. The kegs for this machine range from around £27 up to about £38, so they are quite expensive, although if you keep the keg when you're done with it, you can send that back to Beer Hawk in exchange for a £5 beer token. So the best way to purchase kegs for this is by uh, bulk. So if you order a pack of four from the likes of Beer Hawk or elsewhere, you will get a better deal. Um, and also free shipping. These things are heavy, so if you don't have free shipping, that is something you're gonna notice, around about 15 to 20 pounds to ship four kegs. So uh, it does uh, make a big difference to the cost if you can buy four at a time. So at around about 30 to 40 pounds per keg, it is not cheap. Um, I mean, you can do the maths on that, three to four pounds a pint is pretty much what you pay in any bar uh, in the majority of the country anyway. So this isn't about saving money compared to bars and pubs. Um, it's about having that experience at home if you don't wanna to go to the pub. So let's see how it works. Well, basically it is plug and play. All you need is a plug socket for this thing, nothing else. So quite convenient in that way. You have this LED screen here to show you the temperature of the beer, as well as how much is remaining in the keg uh, and also how many days that keg has been in here. Uh, as I said earlier, 30 days these things last in here. I'm sure none of you will have any problem in sinking 10 pints in that time. This indicator isn't incredibly accurate. This, for example, looks like it's got, what, I don't know, a third, a quarter of a keg left. 
is absolutely empty. So not the best gauge, but it just gives you a rough idea of how much is remaining in the keg. And your days obviously tick down, uh, and that's something you have to reset uh, when you put a new keg in. Speaking of which, let's get a new keg in this thing and show you how to do that. New keg. So now we need to get the old one out. So you do that just by opening the thing up with this latch here and it slides open and there we go. Uh, to lift this out we simply pull and remove the keg from the machine. So push that in and we remove this. Now there is this part here which you get a new one with the new keg so we don't need that so we can get rid of that and get rid of the keg five pounds that's worth so don't lose that sucker so with the new keg we just need to take this black plastic thing off which releases this part here so this is just a bit of tubing if you can see that there if it's in focus uh, and this just slots in in here so that goes in there and then this clicks into place like so uh, and then all you need to do is uh, place this onto here it should just go down with a click it should click there we go click click and now that's ready to insert into the perfect draft machine so we just lift it onto the cooling plate so that's now firmly on there and we stick it back down and close her up you hear a little bit of noise it resets itself to 30 days the temperature's gone up to 7 degrees top tip Keep your next keg in the fridge uh, because that will massively reduce the time it takes for this to get to three degrees to pour your perfect pint. If you stick one in at room temperature, 17, 19 degrees or whatever, it's going to take a long time before that beer gets cool enough for you to serve yourself a nice pint. So uh, already this is at six degrees, it will probably fall to three very soon and uh, we're going to be able to pour the perfect pint out of this thing. So it's as simple as that, really not very difficult at all. You can see that uh, it's showing as full again. Uh, incidentally, these little things on the top, you can buy new ones of, with your favourite beer brands on. They're just fridge magnets, that's all they are, but they're very expensive. But you do get two of these with the machine, just to complete the look with your uh, professional looking tap there. It's worth noting that there are other machines similar to the Perfect Draft machine on the market, um, but if you read into the reviews, you will quickly find out that this is the best one. It does its job well, albeit at a premium. Factor in the cost of the machine and you'd have to sink quite a few pints in order for this thing to, to become worthwhile. My opinion is it is a bit of a gadget um, it's really not an essential item, but will look cool in anybody's home bar. It's something to show off with, isn't it, really? So, would I buy one? No, no, I wouldn't, but that's because I don't have a problem with bottled beer, and to be honest, it's good to keep the pubs in business, so I will keep doing so. It's uh, a little more sociable, isn't it? Should you buy one? So if you have a bar at home and £250 burning a hole in your pocket, you should definitely consider the Philips Perfect Draft Machine. So they are decent machines. The only criticism I have of these is the cost of the kegs to put in them. Uh, I think if they were a little cheaper, it might make a bit more sense. Um, even when you factor in the 
money you get back for the kegs and getting four delivered instead of just the one, making it cheaper. You're still looking at £2, £2.50 a pint. Um, it's still a lot more expensive than your traditional bottles or cans for home drinking. But the main issue I have with these machines is the fact that the UK distributor for this is Beer Hawk. And I have to say, I have never experienced such poor customer service as with Beer Hawk. Um, absolutely terrible. So absolutely no qualms about buying one of these things. Uh, it just would be nice to have a better company selling these things in the UK. Um, this one came from a seller on eBay, like I said, European model. Um, and you can also buy kegs off eBay as well. Um, with this one, a pack of four kegs was purchased for £112, um, which works out around £27 uh, a keg, which uh, isn't bad, but it should be cheaper if you can get four of them from Beer Hawk if they have them in and if they'll bother to send them to you. So I guess all that's left to do is pour a drink out of this thing. So we should take a glass. It's only at six degrees, but that should be cold enough. Not very successful, not very perfect, but I guess we'll uh, we'll let that settle and uh, and then have a taste. So very heady. Apparently the trick is not to tickle it, just pull it full down. Even so, that's very nice. Damn, I think I've just been sold. <laughs> That's why you have a drip tray. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.